Hi guys, so let's start off right now. I told y'all in the last video that I was going to do my hair. I was going to retwist my hair. Clearly, I did not do that. So I don't want to hear nothing, okay? I have been enjoying my little break. Um, but all I'm really trying to tell y'all is this video that you're about to see was the first week after I took my break. Um, I recorded this video um, June 5th, so this is not present time. Right after this video though, next Sunday, I'm going to be posting regularly um, according to like, you know, present time, so. But um, I just wanted to say I see you guys. You guys commented and told me through like messages and things like that that y'all were wondering where I was at and things like that. But um, I really took this time to just relax and not really be on, you know, social media and things like that. Um, and I can't lie, it was hard jumping back into it, but um, it's time. It's time to come back, so. Um, after this video, things will be right back to normal once a week on Sundays. I'll be posting. So let me know in the comments what videos you guys want to see. And I will see if I will get them out for you. But um, thank you guys for sticking it out with me. I know <laughs> I know, my uh, break was a little bit longer than I said. But again, I was enjoying it a little bit too much. But um, yep, go ahead and enjoy this video. And I will see you guys next Sunday. Hi guys, good morning, good evening, good afternoon. Okay, so real quick, cause I wanna get this all out the way. Number one, yesterday while I was flossing, somehow, some way, I tied the floss around my braces. So, gross, but I have this string that will not come off. I had to take a razor blade to what I had, but the razor blade was so dull that I couldn't really get it. So it's just a string in my mouth until I can get home and actually get some scissors or I might just buy some out here. I really can't get it out. So I'm walking around with a doggone piece of floss stuck to my braces. So if you see that, just know that it's floss. Um, <laughs> number two, um, I was inspired by Black Girl Rave. If you aren't already hip to her YouTube channel, check it out. It's in my description box. In one of her most recent videos, she did a skydiving video where she was in the midst of trucking and then she decided to go skydiving, which was so dope. Although I'm not on that level to be going skydiving quite yet, I did want to take some time for myself. So I did ask them to allow me to take my 34 hour reset away from home and whichever uh, state I was gonna be in, I was gonna go to the spa. So I'm on my way to the spa right now. The issue is I found out that I actually have recap hours since I've been out here all week instead of, you know, how I would normally do with 34 hour resets. And so I am actually able to do another load and you know, as truck drivers, we get happy when we get extra miles. So this will be an 800 mile load. I wasn't gonna turn this one down. So I actually set up this appointment to go out there this morning. So I'm still gonna go to this appointment, get this massage going. Um, I'm gonna get there a tad bit early because guess what? It's a Target next door. So I actually am able to check out a couple things, get me some much needed groceries, probably get a little bit of extra stuff. And I'm also gonna get a facial. I don't know how much I'm gonna record just because I haven't been here before, but I'll try to show as much as I can. Um, so, but shortly after I finish with everything, I'm gonna be on my way out for my next load. So yeah. All right, I'm about to go ahead and go because I wanna hurry up and get there. All right, we have made it to the spot. Now, if you're wondering what Pepper is gonna be doing, she's gonna be in here. I have the truck set up where it's, you know, automatic start and stop. It's gonna be perfectly cool in here. She has her water, her food, her toys. She's okay, she's gonna be fine. It's only gonna be a few hours. And um, normally during this time, we, we would be driving, so, the only difference would be that she would be on the floor and I would be driving. So you just farted, come on now. So she would technically be, you know, doing whatever she was gonna do without me specifically anyways. So it's not much different. Okay, I, can I talk? 
So that's what's gonna happen now. I'm gonna go ahead and um, ease myself out. <laughs> She's not the type of dog, thankfully, where she starts whining and crying when I get out the car. She just watches me. She'll probably sit next to the door, which sort of like gets to me a little bit because it's like, oh, babe, I'm coming back every time. But she doesn't whine. She doesn't show like separation anxiety, which I love. I think she got used to me leaving in and out of the truck that she can trust that I'm actually leaving out. By the way, if I'm talking funny, it's again because of this dog on string. I can't wait to get it out. But anyways, so um, I'm gonna go ahead, go. She got her water. The only thing is sometimes she tips over her water, but she's just gonna have to be smart because, <laughs> but it's not gonna be hot in here. So I filled her water up. She should be good. Um, and it's only gonna be like a few hours, so meanwhile dog it's it's a dog on target it's a gnc an office max a michaels a famous footwear all of this it's a home goods a old navy and all these a grocery store i went further down it was a walmart there's a sam's club a gnc there was a um burlington co factory a marshall's like i hit the jackpot i don't know what i'm gonna be able to do this morning but i'm telling you i'm gonna try to hit as much as i can so yeah i'm probably only gonna hit target while i'm talking all this mess but um, I'm going to try to hit Target and Bath and Body Works because a friend of mine has gotten me um, wanting to go in Bath and Body Works. Though, I thought that I was done with Bath and Body Works. Like, I haven't really felt the need to go in Bath and Body Works since, I would say, like, my freshman year of college. So, I don't know. I don't know. If I might find something, though. So, I'm going to go in there. But that's enough talking. I only got like uh, 50 minutes left until my appointment. My appointment is at 10, 10 a.m. It's 9, 10 right now, so. All right. Okay, just made it back in. I'm about to put these groceries up. I grabbed a little bit more. I probably should have went to the grocery store literally next door. I planned on going into Target so that I can actually get some, like some clothes or something. I did grab this one dress. It's sort of cute. I'll show you. Oops, y'all got it. Ugh. You can barely see it, but it's this very long dress. I'll probably put a picture up. But it's a very long dress and it's pretty and it's perfect for being out here because it's getting hotter and hotter. But um, I'm about to hurry up. I only got seven minutes until my appointment. So um, I'm going to hurry up, get all this stuff put away, and then I'm going to walk next door. just wanted to fill this out for me i'd appreciate it and then sure. if you want to have a seat in the waiting area you can fill that out okay and if you have any questions just let me know okay okay thank you you're welcome and i'll let your therapist know you're here okay thank you okay ignore my fingernails but the survey that you're seeing is pretty much just paperwork that they have you fill out before um, getting any of these services for the massage therapist so that they can better accommodate you according to your health and one of the things that i recognized is that for all of the health issues listed i was able to put no which is very much so a blessing so i just wanted to encourage you guys if you can put no on any of these things listed on here count it as a blessing because there are some people out here that are less fortunate and you know as time goes on and as you get older sometimes you may have to put yes on these things but if you're still living that's still a blessing so 
I just wanted to say that. Thank you. We're going to be in Just doing something. You could go ahead. I wasn't sure. Here you go. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. All right. Oh, that smells good. Thank you. You're welcome. It's midnight swim. Okay. It's kind of earthy and fresh and clean. Oh, nice. This smells really good. And today, the body care just will buy three, get three free. Oh. So the ladies are in. And then our hand soap is $3.95. Nice. It smells so good. Thank you. You're welcome. If you need a bag, they are on your left. Feel free to grab whichever okay. size. Thank There's you. <laughs> So after my massage, I had a 30 minute window in between my massage and my facial. So next door was Bath and Body Works. So I went there to go ahead and start smelling a bunch of stuff, as you can see. And I ended up picking up a few um, scents. So. Yeah, they smell really good, and honestly, I don't know if I got all the deals. They did. Yeah. 
No, I haven't. Oh, okay, cool. I have a lot of first timers. Okay, oh, nice, cool. Yeah. You can take your mask off if you want. Okay, okay cool. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Oh, welcome. Okay, do you have any concerns with your skin or anything you're trying to like achieve? No, I just want to glow. Like, I have no real, you know, like, you're having an experience, you're just like, uh, yeah, I'm a truck driver, so like, oh, okay. yeah, I have just a lot to do on the daily, and I think yeah. I should just treat myself. Yeah, definitely. Mm -hmm. So, you're both doing classic facial. So, usually with that, I'll do like a quick cleanse, and I'll take a look at your skin. Mm -hmm. um, are you light sensitive at all? No, not necessarily. Okay. Um, there's an answer because I'll have some fun about that, guys, but there's gonna be a bright, like, fluorescent light. Okay. If it's too bright, let me know, and I have some goggles on you as well. Okay. Um, so, then after I do a look at your skin, um, then I'll do an exfoliator. Okay. Um, so, usually it's like a, like Jim saying, like rosemary exfoliator. Okay. Um, so, it's kind of florally. Are you okay with floral scents? Okay. Cool. I just lost them. Oh, you know, just double check. Um, and then I usually put steam as well because I activate this exfoliator. Okay, cool. So, after the exfoliator, Black removal, pimples, all that good stuff. Mm -hmm. um, that bright light will come back as well. So I'll put some more pads on you. Okay. And then the mask that comes with the classic is a cucumber aloe mask. So it's super soothing, super hydrating. Um, and you do have a little bit of like a glow afterwards Ooh, for sure. Nice. Um, and then I usually do the whole serum, the similar shade, and SPF. Okay. Uh, and that's about it. So it's usually like a 15 minute service, give or take a few minutes. Okay. Um, we do have upgrade options available as well if you do want to do any upgrades. Too. Okay, we'll just settle for the classic for now. Yeah, for sure. That's always a great place to start. Um, as well as I recommend the most often, especially if it is your first time coming in. Mm -hmm. um, but then I always want to give them a lot of upgrades if they want as well. Thank you. Yeah, of course. Um, so I will step out, let you get ready, you take off as much as you want, leave on as long as you want. Okay. It's going to be comfortable. Okay. And I believe the bed is turned, yeah, it's still turned on. Um, so it's warmed up for you. I can hire if you want as well. Kind of the medium setting right now. Okay. Um, so then you can clamp under the sheets and pull it back here, face up. Okay. Uh, and then if you want to just get close to the headband, I can put it on for you when I step back in the room. Okay. Or if you'd rather put it on yourself to kind of get it comfortable, you're more than welcome to do that as well. Okay. Um, and then I have a cushion right here. I need some back support as well. Nice. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Is it gonna be like dim lit? Yes. yes. Yeah. But, um, I can turn the lights down now for you. I can turn them off, like turn down when I come back in the room. So I don't matter. Okay. I'm gonna flip them down for you. Yeah. So this is about the level of lighting that'll be in here. So okay. I have bright light a couple times. Okay. Um, yeah. Do you have any questions for me? Okay? No. We're good. We're good. <laughs> so you use the restroom. No. I'm okay. Awesome. Well, I was about to get ready, and I'll knock it over. Thank you. Okay, really fast, I'm gonna try to show you everything that I got. Ignore this dog on string. I cannot wait to cut it out. But um, I went to Bath and Body Works and I got three sets. I got the spray, the body wash or the shower gel, and then I got the, um, the body mist of each thing, so. So I got Sunset Glow. Now it had body wash and then it had the um, the spray and then the lotion. So I got that and Sunset Glow. It smells pretty good. I love it. Then I got Fresh Cut li Lilacs. I was about to say Lily. Now hear me out, okay. I actually do not like flor floral fragrances, but according to my skin chemistry, they're the ones that tend to oxidize the best on my skin. Um, whereas some smells, they like for instance, the very sweet smells like vanilla, it ends up smelling more synthetic um, when it warms up. Um, and then like other smells, they tend to smell more alcoholy, not quite you know like seamless but when I put a, a floral fragrance on my skin when it warms up it tends to aquadize oxidize into a more sweet subtle scent and so it tends to be the best smell on my skin in my opinion then I have the cactus blossom which was like my favorite in there out of all the smells that I smelled I smelled like every single thing Then of course I got a few small things. So I got this restorative hand cream. Then I have this guava coconut oil. What's up? You just wanna come up here. Give me a second. I know you wanna come up here. Just give me two seconds. This is, uh, ignore her. This is lip oil. All right, all right, two seconds. She just want me to have her up here so she can peep and watch. And then this is um, hand sanitizer. And then I have 
this lip scrub. All right, all right, all right, okay. Okay, let me just get these chemicals off the, the, uh, off the seat. Two seconds, please. Come on. I know. Come on. Here. That's all you want it. That's all you want it, big girl. She's so spoiled. Ignore the mess. I have not been able to clean up my truck. I normally clean up my truck during my 34-hour reset at home, but I haven't been at home, and I actually haven't even had a 34-hour reset, so it's getting pretty junky up in here, but I'm trying to make it manage. Anyways, I also went to Old Navy. Let's see if I can't show y'all. Okay, I went to Old Navy. I went to all these. I went to Burlington Co. Factory. I went to Bath & Body Works. I went to Target and then of course I went to um, uh, the the massage place. So at all these you have to buy the bag. So I just put some of my all these purchases in my um, Old Navy bag. But I got this from all these. It's cauliflower, nacho flavored tortilla chips. And then I got these cookie thins in the flavor lemon. I don't know how either of these taste, but I got really hungry up in there. I'm also eating this, which is like a lemon basil bow tie pasta salad. It's really good. Or at least it's good because I'm hungry right now. I don't know how much I'd like it if I wasn't hungry, but it's not nasty at all. I can tell you I probably would buy it again. It's just a lot of pasta, so I'm probably not going to eat it all. Anyways, in Old Navy, they had a sale, five masks for a dollar, which ironically in Ohio, because that's where I am, I'm unsure if I even said that out loud, but in Ohio, or at least where I'm at currently, they have it where it's optional to wear masks. I'm understanding that as time progresses, more and more people are not wearing masks, but where I drive and pull up to shippers and, and places like that, they still require you to wear masks inside of those facilities. So I picked up these um, and they're nice, cute little colors. You can see the previews of them here. So this was my last mask. I've been wearing it like every day, knowing that I needed to buy some more masks. And then lastly, I bought this dress. I plan on wearing like uh, biker shorts underneath this because you know climbing inside the truck but it's it's not that short it's probably knee length but you know again climbing inside the truck and climbing down I don't want to be flashy folk um, but it was cute it was a nice little breezy outfit it's getting hotter and hotter out here now Burlington y'all already know I had to get something for pepper so, I got her these pork jerky fillets, which is 100% pork. I was looking in there. They don't have many options that I feel are healthy enough for dogs. There was somebody in the comments a few videos ago that said that grain-free dog treats and stuff like that, just grain-free items for dogs to eat is bad. And I looked it up, and according to Google, it says that they've linked it to cardiomyopathy or something like that. Uh, issue with a dog's heart and um so of course I don't want that so I was looking at all of their products in Burlington and they had almost no treats that weren't um grain free but I happened to find this and though I really didn't want Pepper to eat pork like that like it's not a huge I'd much rather her eat something like sweet potato pumpkin chicken salmon stuff like that She's still a puppy. I'll allow her to eat pork sometimes. But this was the best ingredient list out of all of them. And it was pork only. That's the only thing. And vegetable glycerin, which is fine. So I went ahead and got this for her. Um, the only other reason why I got this is because not only is she, has she been good, she's waited in here, she peed and everything on a puppy pad. No surprises when I came up in here. But also, yesterday she found a way to climb on top of my chair and on my chair i had her sweets her uh, treats which is chicken and sweet potato that's the only two ingredients in her um treats that i bought from another place i think it was dollar general actually and 
she tore into the bag, which I didn't even know her teeth were strong enough to tear into the bag like that. And she ate all of the treats. And this was all while I was in the shower. So, like, so while I don't want to keep giving her treats, I normally need a treat every once in a while just to keep her calm. Because sometimes she'll be like, hello, and I'll be busy and I can't really attend to her. So sometimes a treat will keep her good for like 30 minutes. That's enough. Um, I also got her a new bed. This one is a lot more cozy and it has this lip here where it sort of looks like, you know, she's going to be in enveloped in this bed it's super soft it was one of the more pricier beds this was like what 17 dollars some of them were like 14 11 stuff like that but i like this one because it seems softer and it goes along with the interior of this truck but i didn't really care too much about that um i would have got pink if they had it but um i think she'll really like this because it matches my bed and she really likes being on my bed so I figured I'd give her something that sort of reminds her of my bed for down here instead of her staying in the crate because she likes to sleep in the crate. But sometimes she'll get out, she'll sleep on the floor, she'll sleep on the bed that I got from Amazon, but it's like tore up. So I'm going to throw that away. So I think she'll really like this. I got something for you, mama. She over here, people watching this entire time. See how quiet she is now that she gets to be out here looking at people? Childish. Anyways, after my facial, which actually, let me speak about the facial and the massage. I never even got to explain how I liked it. First and foremost, the massage was amazing. My, uh, I hate that I'm talking funny, but it's this dog on string. <laughs> my massage was amazing. My massage therapist, his name was Brandon. Um, I told him to focus on my shoulders because out here driving trucks all day, I was getting really tense in my shoulders. Um, I said in another video that I used to be a massage therapist or I went to massage therapy school and, you know, I finished and all that stuff. But, um, so, you know, I, I hadn't really got massages frequently since then. And he did so good. And he did some new techniques that I didn't even learn before. Um, then there were things that I learned that he didn't do and i was like okay okay so i'm seeing that it's different in certain areas but he did so good he really focused on this shoulder and this is the shoulder that gives me more problems so i feel like he found some lactic acid and stuff like that in my trapezius i feel like he was really really um paying attention to which muscle was tighter i didn't even tell him that this was my trickier shoulder outside of that he did really good i told him he didn't have to worry about any other parts of my body like that like of course he was gonna massage my full body but he didn't have to pay attention and do the most do the most and that my um objective was just relaxation so he did exactly that he really handled his business and the oil smells really good it's not overpowering which is something that they say not to do and so i, I really enjoyed that um, I only had like one or two massages outside of my massage school that was professional and so he really did such a good job. Then I had a 30 minute break in between my massage and my facial and so I went into Bath and Body Works which was right next door, handled my business, got everything, then I went back to go get my facial and my facial was bomb. Um, but I did tell her like hey being out here always in the dirt lots and things like that it's been um harder for me to focus on my face so i have been getting like a couple i would say like sun bumps and things like that like heat bumps and things like that where my skin isn't fully like i would say smooth sometimes i have like raised bumps in this area technically in my t-zone and she was able to extract those she was extracting them she put uh, steam on my face she gave me like mask after mask she put on some sunscreen for me um she recommended me a product i didn't buy that but um she did really really good i really enjoyed it um it was super relaxing the music was nice the ambiance the smells the dim lights it was great i was like trying my best to um <laughs> record i put my phone inside my purse on t on the door hanger and I was praying that I was getting a good angle because I couldn't tell once I put my phone inside the purse. But it was, I think I did pretty good. So, yeah, I didn't i didn't necessarily ask if I could record because I was a little nervous to ask. But I knew I wanted to get the footage. So, um, 
yeah maybe next time i'll be a little more upfront and ask but i was just like what type of person i mean like i know but i'm not like a youtuber i don't feel comfortable going around like can i record while you do this for me like it's just not <laughs> it feels so awkward but anyways that being said all that to say actually i went into burlington co factory with hopes that i could find a perfume because the thing about bath and body works is they're mists they work but they're mists they're not perfumes so i was trying to find a perfume to pair with them um but i couldn't find one in burlington but i did find some face stuff y'all know if you go to a place like marshall's tj maxx burlington you can find really really nice but affordable um skincare products and things like that so i did get this satin uh cap which is for bed um this was really cheap it was like 3.99 i got this because my other one it's the band is starting to loosen and so it slips off my head every night then after that i did get um some sheet masks and they are honey um like honey infused for strengthening i just like that it said honey i like honey so it's like five sheet masks in one and it's 4.99 so it's like a dollar each but i believe that this brand farm skin is a good brand i can't remember but it sounds like one then ooh, okay so i got this body Collagy skin food body scrub in the i guess type hemp and aloe vera i smelled it in there and it smelled real good real earthy and that's something that i like i like natural scents i don't necessarily like all of that you know like perfumey smells when it comes down to my body care and i really wanted to get something like scrubbing because in the summertime it's in the summertime when you're sweating it just feels you feel dirtier and i would much rather have something that i can exfoliate with in the shower then i got some hyaluronic acid and a vitamin c um, droplets for my face it's facial oil so after i put on all my moisturizer i could put this on as a top layer um it helps with um sealing and things like that it did have a, a safflower, safflower seed oil i thought it said sunflower seed oil in there but um my skin isn't really that finicky when it comes to certain oils so i was cool with this this was like 5.99 so it's a good buy by the way i'm not like a skin guru i don't know everything but i look at the ingredients list and if i can understand what it is then i'm nine nine times out of ten gonna buy it then i got this facial serum um i don't know if you can see that face serum it's um it also has hyaluronic acid in it and it has collagen and it is $5.99 and for the most part this goes I want to say it goes before your moisturizer yeah because this doesn't have oil in it if I'm not mistaken yeah this don't have oil in it this has glycerin in it and things like that and so um oh maybe this is oil child I don't know I don't know all I know is it doesn't have sulfate and it doesn't have gluten in it but it is something that i think goes underneath your moisturizer and then you put your moisturizer on then you put your oil on so that's how i'm gonna do it and technically you put your spf afterwards but i have yet to find a really good spf so i'm gonna just use the basic one i got but i can't lie to you i don't use it all the time i need to though so that's all i got from burlington let me see did i get anything else I think that's everything and then I put away all my other food oops I put away all my other food so now I'm just trying to see if I could bob tail yes okay I'm super excited okay so I asked them before I even started recording if I could bob tail to my next to my shipper so I could just go ahead and pick up this load and then drive off to my uh, actual thing because I don't have a trailer with me which is a, I'm supposed to have an empty and so <laughs> it's an extra hassle when they try to have you go find an empty because if you have to find an empty sometimes when you go to the place that they referred you to they won't have an empty available and so you have to be like 
hopscotching around trying to find the empty thankfully this place they allowed me to go straight to pick it up without needing to bring an empty with me so i'm going straight to my shipper which means this day has gotten like two times better since that um so i'm gonna just go ahead and end it here y'all i'm about to go ahead and get started on my um departure i'll go ahead and put in the description box the name of this place that i went to it's in ohio i think it's jilliard hilliard ohio i don't know london ohio i think maybe but um it's really dope and um i really enjoyed myself and for you truck drivers out here um i bobtailed over here if y'all want to find a nice area in ohio to be able to shop because they have a million stores over here and for you to be able to get a nice massage facial in and things like that come over here it's a nice area they also have um they also have banks over here they have a verizon over there they have all types of stuff so yeah with that being said thank you black girl ray for inspiring me to do something outside of just driving a truck um because sometimes we get so used to just driving that we don't experience other things i had a great morning um and it was all because of you going skydiving so with that being said i love you all so much and i will see you in the next video